We are currently going RV shopping. We've been looking online. We've done a lot of reading. We've watched a lot of YouTube videos. We have no idea what we're doing. We haven't stepped foot in an RV. And yet, for some reason, we've decided to go buy an RV and move into an RV and live in an RV. Yeah, so we think we want to get some kind of trailer or fifth wheel, but at the same time, we know we don't know what the heck we're talking about. So um, I think the plan is just we're gonna look around a bunch and see what we find and see what we like and what we don't like and what changes our minds. So yeah. that's the plan. So we just walked into our first class A and it's literally, I think it's about as big as our New York apartment. Like it's not, I think our New York apartment's a little bit wider. I like this a lot. You want to know how much it, the suggested retail price is? Right, 104? 143. I feel very fortunate that we can even consider this. Yeah. And I also think this is way nicer than where we live now. <laughs> can you imagine if this is like where we hang out for a while? How crazy is that? It's crazy. This could be our office. We were just saying like how with the windows all around, how cool it would be to like, this is our desk, this is where we work. Yeah. I thought the Airstreams were very minimalistic. Yeah. And I felt like they were without bells and whistles. And it, it's, it's weird to me because I feel like they're way more expensive. However, I think now- And higher quality. Now having been in them, I feel like the design I don't know about the quality. I can't speak to the quality. I don't. I don't know yet. But I feel like the design, and at least the quality of the design, like I feel like the livability in the Airstream, as compared to like the Class A we looked mm -hmm. at and the Class Cs, just feels better, right? It feels like it's really smartly designed. It's like somebody put a lot of thought, which makes sense considering Airstream is a very old brand. They've been doing it for a while. It makes sense. Like they're they're really thinking about what they wanted to do with every inch of the space to make sure that it's most efficiently used for exactly the right thing. The Airstreams, I think, are better suited to boondocking. That's the other thing that, we, like, I think that's the biggest thing is like, I don't think we have very well defined what we want our lifestyle to be other than we want to make sure we can work and have freedom. I'm interested to see some of the travel trailers and see if what we like about the Airstream is that like, they're obviously very Instagrammable and all that like bougie shit, or- That is not a value for me for the record. <laughs> or if I like the travel trailers in general, I think it's gonna be interesting to have a comparison back to back. So we found a couple fifth wheels that had bedroom, kitchen, living room, and then like tucked in um, was a little tiny room that Nate can use as an office. And they're probably designed for like kids to sleep in, but since we don't have kids, Nate Second can- Second den or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nate can now use that as an office, close a real door and have an office so that when he's making phone calls for work, because I think that's the biggest thing is if we want to, do this for longer than just like a trip on a weekend we have to be able to have this be life and be and like have a way for you to have a job correct. me too but correct separate spaces and that's why i like those fifth wheels mm -hmm. because they have that bonus room yeah they also have storage yep they have an attic or out or outside storage under or above that that space yep which for things like winter clothes or yep. um dog food or dry goods, yeah. or racks of sodas, or yeah. whatever, right? Yeah. I like that a lot. Mm -hmm, um, me too. I also like it because it doesn't detract from the overall living space. Yes. They felt very comfortable to me. Yeah, they definitely did. Um, I also think that that little room could be a dork den where I go in and play my video games when I'm, yeah. done, when I'm done working, or when we're off-site, that's a dog room. 
Yeah, exactly. Right? Like I think that, I think it's really good for a dog room because then you don't have to worry about is the dog going to have an accident like, on your furniture or something like that. It can be have an accident and clean it up easily. I totally agree. I feel now like I have to do this. I'm I'm even more jazzed yep. than I was before. Like yep. before it was like a cool idea and now if for some reason this doesn't work out, I'm going to be really sad because I'm I'm really excited. Yeah. I'm really excited with this. I agree. I feel like that this is a major change for us and I think it's risky, but I kind of feel like it it also eliminates a lot of risk. Yeah. It's cheaper, it gives us freedom. It also simplifies our life in a way that I didn't necessarily want, but yeah. I well, I feel like do now. Yeah, I feel like a lot of the risk that we have, we've I feel like our lives have progressively had less and less things in them and that felt risky at first like the thought of moving to New York felt risky because oh it's like big scary New York but we all of a sudden went from having a big apart big big house that we rented that we had like a year lease on having two cars having well keep in mind first it was oh yeah owning a we house we had a house that we, we owned, owned with a pool and a garage and all the stuff and that cars we thought we wanted. and all the things we thought we needed yeah and we didn't even live there a year yeah and then we rented a house and we're like oh well this is cool it's risky because shouldn't we be homeowners shouldn't we be settling down then it was you know what I don't think we need a house let's, let's get, get an apartment, apartment in New York and get rid of some of our stuff which we don't need. Now we don't have a garage, right? We don't have washer and dryer. We don't right? have cars. We don't, we don't own vehicles, right? And, and I it, feel like more and more, like I'm less tied to anything, which I think traditionally sounds scary. Correct. But we can do whatever the hell we want, which is so weird because I don't ever, and this is gonna get like super philosophical, I don't ever remembering growing up and t having someone tell me that when you grow up, you should wanna be free. Yeah. So we're in the Montana High Country, which is the and it's the model that has a second room, so we can make it an office. This is my personal favorite so far. What do you think? It's pretty good. Um, I remember on our first tour, I think that I liked the Montana better. Yeah. It's more expensive, um, but I think the interior was nicer, and it looks like we're probably going to get the residential interior anyway for the stove and the fridge mm -hmm. so I don't think that I think I'd rather get the nicer model see I think this one's not as nice so I like that this one has everything is lighter it's not as dark and to me that looks nicer agreed I, I do also I like the subway tile uh, backsplashes mm -hmm. and the coriander and all that kind of stuff I'm not really big on interiors yeah. but the fact that it makes everything look lighter is nice to me yeah um, I also like, so as a model, this is great. If they didn't have a Montana, mm -hmm. the high country is pretty darn good. Um, and I like it a lot. I just want to go look at the Montana to make sure it's not something that, I just want to make sure the features aren't that much better. Yeah, so that's what we're going to do next. So we bought an RV! Woo! We bought an RV! Um, so we went to a, um, a show. Um, it was with a with Camping World, one of the first places, one of the first places we looked, where we really liked them, and we basically sat there all day, hemmed and hawed, and decided to go with it. Yep, uh, we bought it from Ken uh, at Lakewood, New Jersey, Camping World. <laughs> Dude's awesome, probably the best uh, automotive slash RV slash yeah. home salesperson I ever worked with. I've ever worked with. Guy was great. He wasn't, um, he wasn't an asshole. Didn't uh, push push us at all. Yep, did a good job showing us exactly what it is that we wanted to see. Yep. Um, entertained a bunch of tomfoolery from us. Yep. And so what we ended up getting was a...